We should be online. Welcome and welcome back. I'm Martin. Give me, as always, this second to check that we're really online. If you're in the chat, if you can, you know, help me as always, you know, here in, in Italy, once in a while, uh, we have problems with the power connection. We have problems with the internet connection. So yeah, let me know if you can see me, if you can hear me. It looks good. Something started there, even here, just a second. Let me get rid of that volume of that device. Okay. There we should be, there we should be. And I'm pretty excited. I'm really pretty excited for many reasons. Um, today, there will be one of those days where the mood muck will tell you, know your tools, know your libraries, and it will tell you even, grow your tools and grow your libraries. Because this library, which is the Ghost Cello from Triumph Audio, really, really hit me by surprise. It's different and it's a new developer. It looks like it's a small developer, but with the very first library that they came out, they already presented something so musical, something so beautiful, something so well thought out and something so eerie and haunting at the same time. Um, I like it and I see already in the chat that Kevin is here. We have Kevin Monte with us today, the founder of Triumph Audio and this makes me happy. This makes me really happy that even the developers once in a while they show up in the, in the chat. So you know if you have questions you can ask him. That's gold, that's pure gold, the possibility to have a developer in the chat that you can ask then about things because um, I'm honest, I had a busy week. I really had a busy week. I wanted to prepare so many things because otherwise this stream would last for four hours and we wouldn't have a chance to go through everything. I didn't have the time. So we will do this mostly improvised. We will really be noodling around with the patches and I will put on my headphones so um, th there won't be any any feedback or something like this and I will switch the screen I will sc switch the screen obviously here um, to let you show even my desktop so you see a little bit what's going on I don't know if you can hear that noise there is a noise in the background which is just like Wee! something like this <laughs> it's a bathroom upstairs we figured out this morning there's a tiny metal bit inside the water which when the water flushes in it, it it vibrates and it creates that sound and my son Mattia already told me hey dad you should sample that you should create a uh, library out of it calling it the crazy Lou or something like this man we will never know so I have yeah the cork nano control working again the last live stream it didn't work and I just came up with here fingers on the keyboard this one is called the Light Band Stacks. And let's just listen to this um, to give you a very first idea how a um, processed cello can sound. So I think you get the idea. This is really beautiful because it's natural on the one side and it's so haunting on the other side. And yes, don't forget to use the mod wheel. The mod wheel does a lot of cool things in this library. That's true, but not only the mod wheel. 
There are four engines. The whole um, cello is based in the photosynthesis engine and you can do pretty, pretty crazy things with this. I will show a little bit um, with this. I recently had already two videos on my channel about sound design because you should know even how much I like to have a signature sound or to do something with the library that makes it a little bit stand out. So it's not like you hear it and say, oh yeah, that I know that library. And with this one, you can really, really do it. Absolutely. So um, I came up with the second piece exactly today at 3 p.m. Um, just to show even how you can use it to render something which is meant maybe to be beautiful, really dramatic and haunting with this beautiful beautiful instrument i think by now you realize how much i like it and how much really it hit me by surprise because i do love cello um, and there are many cello libraries but this is not the next cello um, evolving textures and this is not the next lyrical legato solo cello to to write those sad cello lines i think we are all pretty much covered this one goes way beyond we will see even a little bit later that there are a lot, a lot of pre-recorded phrases. And those pre-recorded phrases, um, or you love them or you hate them. And even me, I do have a, 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 a mixed um, feeling about pre-recorded phrases. But there is nothing, nothing more realistic than a pre-recorded phrase. So... You know, if you are the composer, a piece of paper and a pencil, or like me most of the time, starting out with a piano and then starting to orchestrate it, it's hard to work with pre-recorded phrases. But if you let yourself guide by the library and you play with those phrases and you figure out how those phrases work and how you can combine them, then you get the most realistic performance that there is. So I'm absolutely happy that there are pre-recorded phrases. And I just would like to show you this. We do have Donald in the chat. That's so cool. Yeah, really. Um, for a minute this morning, Donald, you know, meet me too. I'm, I'm having Bavarian coffee in the mood, Mac. And so listen to this. This is really just a piano and a voice. Even that's a pre-recorded vocal phrase. And let's add the cello to this and you will see how the complete character changes thanks to those sounds those articulations in this library that really can make a difference in your track what did they use here I only used something which was called ghost cello soft creeper and yeah, that, that's a mix between a pad and an organic cello sound it's slightly pulsing it's changing pitch We will work with this in a second and then I used, yes, a uh, movement, a movement, a pre-recorded phrase. <laughs> I mean, if you have something like this, that, then you don't need a legato patch, it, in my opinion. Then I just used another phrase. Of course, I didn't mix it. I didn't master it. I just recorded it. This might become a demo track then for Ghost Cello because I pretty much like it. Then this ba 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 bum. And then I come with those Colegno Tremolo hits to give it even a rhythmic texture. That's so cool. And talking about a little bit the engine, we do have the Cello Soft Creeper here, which I had before. And you can go, for example, to the effects engine where you do have, you know, the lo-fi and the screamer and the distortion and that stuff. You can switch it on here. And then, for example, you know, here, there is the amount you can dial it in or out. The same goes for the screamer. Mm -hmm. 
And I think you know it by now. It's just as easy as right click, learn MIDI CC automation, place this on any knob that you have of your MIDI controllers and then automate it. And then automate it. That's so cool if you have a sound like this and then this one is just moving. by these curves you really get a ever evolving sound do it as i always say know your tools know your libraries learn those engines i have to learn that engine still myself because there are four engines in one there is the main engine the amp envelope the pitch envelope the layer mixer the low pass the high pass filter there is the effects engine for the insert effects or the send effects there is a rhythm engine where you even with a step sequencer you can then automize like in other libraries um, various values and there's the output engine and even this one is very interesting there's the stereo spread let's just listen to this i hope you can hear it this really gets from a mono sound to a spread out stereo sound I use this in um in a, in, a, in a scene that I scored uh, recently, you know, they're, they're, they're looking for a composer and you needed to, to send them your, your idea of how to score the scene because there haven't been any directions from the director as it normally you used to hear. I want to hear this or that or in that style or, you know, orchestrated electronic or whatever. There was just surprise us so yeah what to do and i used a a string patch and i did exactly this um from the, the nice string on the stereo field i dialed down this one to, to, to because you know i i just wanted to have the idea like focusing on on what's happening there and this is then you know why i even took the sound um to a really narrow stereo field you can do this here and that that's pretty cool of course there's the panning the eq and that stuff so um Ghost Cello by Triumph Audio, uh, another very nice feature. I mean, there are two nice features. One is the Enterprise. The Enterprise is more than fair for what you get. There are over 100 patches. If you double them by as they did um, in the DFP or the um, Time Machine Pro divided, then it's over 200. And they do have a free version they do have a free version. It's the, I, I, if I remember well, a sixth of the, the complete um, amount of patches and everything that there is. But I have both. And, and really, if you have the, the free version, um, you can't, a very clever move by Kevin, you can't do different than then go for the full version, which for the full disclaimer, um, Triumph Audio handed out an NFR copy to me to make this, um, to check it out myself, to play with it, to make this stream today. But this is a library that for sure I, I would have fallen in that. And that's, it's, it's not meant negative, but in that catch. Like, you know, taking the free version and then, whoa, you know, and then you just need to go for the full version because you really, it's an appetizer. It's just like like in Italy when you, when you go in the restaurant and then there is the, um, the antipasto. <laughs> and then you, you can't wait to get your, your your second or your third or your fourth or your whatever dish. So um, once you are in the folder, it's a contact library. It's not a contact player library. Once you're in the folder, then you see that there are um, two main folders within the instrument. There is the authentic one and there is the processed one. In the authentic one, you get the shorts, the movements, the glissandi, the bands and the harmonics. We will go through them. And even this, there are glissandi like stuff like this. And um, in, in this, what I said before, in this scene that, that, I, that I scored uh, this week, there was even a, a scene which is quite funny and at the same way you know very dramatic and to take out a little bit of the drama of that scene and and to underline the, the comedy in in the situation i used i will i will show it to you later a glissando from from the cello which um sounded a little bit in this case as it was needed like a fart um <laughs> fantastic but not because you know this library is bad because it was needed in this scene a fart was needed there was even one and um glisses yeah so, um, Ghost Cello, we will start here. I have um, 
I, I have here, if, as you can see, I already laid out 13 tracks with instruments that it really caught my attention. We will start maybe a little bit with them and then we will go through those folders and play a little bit through the sounds. I think I waffled enough for now. So this is the motion sickness. Let's go really deep. Which, by the way, um, they do have a um, pretty cool way of naming those um, instruments because there is always written you know velocity mod and stuff like this which tells you, you know there is an effect on the mod wheel or there are various velocity layers or stuff like this there are even melodies which will go through which by the velocity you trigger different takes on that theme even this is pretty pretty interesting then the next one that i have here is the soft creeper yeah i love this one You see with the mod wheel? And I do have even libraries that come to my mind that will so good suit with this one that you really combine with this one. Um, I love it. I love it. it it's really up my alley. And um, I can tell you that pretty soon there will be a library that really, uh, if, if, you, if you wouldn't know it, you would say, wow, they, they are exactly from the same developer in exactly the same direction um, because they combine really, really like this. Uh, yeah, be, stay tuned. This one is cool. This one is really cool. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, you know, I'm, I'm scoring the Sympathia horror movie at the moment. This one will find its way into that score. That's really amazing. loads it's standard if p mode and also time machine pro exactly one is the sample as it is and the other one is then with the time machine pro brought more or less to the, the same length over the whole keyboard this is why i said at the beginning there are over 200 patches in this beast it will keep you occupied for days if not weeks to go through all of them especially if we go later than to those movements and you can see that you can trigger various movements on the same key just by velocity there's a lot to discover but listen just two keys and then you come to the mod wheel. That's cool. <laughs> My pedal went missing. There it is. That's only the mod wheel, that's only the mod wheel. As I said before, you have all those knobs, right click, learn MIDI CC automation, you have your faders. If you have, for example, the nano control, you have eight of them. So, you know, just use them in your score, just use them in your music and in your piece and whatever. There we have the delta landing.
exactly. You know, the Time Machine Pro is here. I, I, I played a little bit with it this morning. Minor second comedy grace notes. And I think everybody now who is writing music will um, confirm how useful those can be. Aren't they cool? Nice, nice, nice. Um, well thought out, Kevin. Really, I, I'm, I'm so happy. Really, thanks for being in the chat. This really means a lot to me. Um, I'm, I can imagine how busy you are. But if you want, uh, I think this is the right moment even to tell a little bit how, how you came up with this. Because I think only the authentic patches would have been enough for Ghost Cello or maybe, I don't know. And, and then, you know, the processed patches, a second library, which is then called, you know, Ghost Cello 2, The Revenge or something like this. But you have everything in one library. And it's so... Yeah, I, 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 I confess, I, I will need some time to really get into it, to, to use it the most often possible, as there are so many diverse sounds and patches and possibility in it. It's not only, you know, the, the ghost part of it. Like I always say, the Symphonic Destruction, for example, from Heaviosity, the name is so misleading because, there, yes, there is the, the epic destruction part in it, but there's a whole lot of symphonic in it. And in this, there's a whole lot of cello in it, and not only the ghost. So... <laughs> cool! Yeah, this is why I like those streams, even this noodling around, because let's face it, you don't do this normally. There is no time to do it. And then you decide, you know, I will take this hour or this 90 minutes and make a stream and then you have time to enjoy yourself, to, to noodle around and to... Yeah, um, the next one is a minor down scale. This is what I said before. It's the same key, it's a C, but depending on how hard you hit it. There are various variations of that same theme on it. That's pretty cool even. Let's let's try something quickly. Okay. this give me a second Kevin please correct me if I'm wrong I think I heard um, a, a background noise yes there it is that's cool that's cool. I love this. Like, for example, from Bellady Media in their Gothic stage choir, the stage noises. And, and yeah, you see the seats knarzing and, 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 and those kind of sounds. This is so cool. And we are in the authentic patches. And, and this is absolutely, there's place for this. Absolutely. That's not negative. Mm 
And now mix this properly, bring in the same reverb, a really, let's see if I can do this quickly. Let's see if I can do this quickly. I'm quite sure it's in the sense effects, there's the reverb. Switch it on just a second. As I said, I still need, yes, exactly, that's it. You see, as easy as that, it's really quite intuitive. Um, I, th I I don't think I have another um, library in this photosynthesis engine. I'm, there are some for Audio Imperial, but I don't have them. As, as easy as that, as quick as that, and, and I like it. I like it a lot, and, and I like to have Kevin in the chat. This is for me even so interesting, you know, to 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 learn the behind the scenes and th these things. Always a raw, and authentic, not perfect, and and that's good. I like to use noise reduction. I want to feel it like you there. Yeah, um, I I like it too. I really like it a lot. Um, not not too much cleaned out, absolutely not. And then then we can have romplers like like this one, for example. Then we don't need really cool libraries like that one that can make the difference. They can make the difference. Then we do have a minor down. <laughs> the, I think it's the same. I think that's the same patch here. Then I do have here short minor motifs and this is even cool because this is a menu patch if i remember well because you see on the keyboard i think you see it even there um on on, on the in the stream there are blue keys and there are turkeys keys and there is a red one which is you know the the, the trigger and then then you can trigger I, I me I, I like those phrases I know how much work it is if you have something in your mind and you would like to have something like na 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 ma 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 you can do it you can do it believe me you can do it it takes some time because you have to go through them and then you know stick them together where they need to stick but then you have something more authentic than, than, than ever possible with, with whatever other patch there might be because those are real performances uh, i use this here in in the, the the piano bit that i came up with before <laughs> Beautiful, simply beautiful. Then we have the Colegno Tremolo. And how cool is this? How cool is this? At least me, I, I, I like this kind of stuff. And um, let me try something, let me try something, bear with me, so, no, even there, yeah, maybe this one, no, just a sec, exactly, this is what I was looking for, this is a low pass filter. This one at the moment is on um, CC11, I removed this, I put MIDI CC, learn MIDI CC, I moved this one. The interesting effects with this simple low pass filter. And then combine this with the effects engine like I did before with a little bit of screamer. I'm quite sure even here it will sound cool. It does. Let's try something. Let's learn MIDI CC on the same knob. Pretty curious how it... No. 
no it doesn't work because then it comes in together no i don't like this one this one should be on another one and then and then yes uh then you can absolutely absolutely you know just record it like like i normally do you know i i record my track um and 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 the problem is really that the more music i make the the, the Worse, I get playing the keyboards because you do so much then, in my case here in Logic or Studio One or Cubase or whatever you have, um, working then on the MIDI CC automation data and that stuff, but really do it, play it in and then go a second or a third time through with your um, screamer, with your distortion, with your low pass filter, with your panning. I'm, I'm working a lot even with, with panning effects and, and not only, you know, placing things on the stage, no, even, even moving them a little bit around or stuff like this. So do it hi andromeda even in the chat cool and the next one that i have here yeah a minor up down scale again then i do have here the minor then i do have here the glissandi This is wonderful stuff. This is absolutely wonderful stuff. And there is no way to program this. There is no way if you have a cello library, it doesn't matter, legato, staccato, spiccato, whatever it is, there is no way that you program this. This means, or someone recorded it for you, like in this case, Kevin from Triumph Audio, or you simply don't have that sound. And this is the one that I used in this, yeah, sad comedy scene. I, I don't remember. I don't remember, to be honest, if I had a and then there was this fart in that scene or if I just had this underneath the fart, but, but I really liked it, how, how it went together. And even this one, you know, it's, it's a menu. Absolutely. Your main door screen, not you, is stuck. Ooh. Um, then I'm sorry, if the main screen is stuck then I'm really sorry, I have no idea how I can get it up running now with this NDI scan converter. It's only the second time that I use it and the first time it really went stable for the whole um, transmission. Let's try something like this. We will go back to only me and, and then maybe try again to switch the scene. Maybe it uh, gets back to life and then Kevin, you just tell me if it did or not. So let's go a little bit through those patches. We start in the authentic one, the shorts. Let's go a little bit through the shorts. I open the shorts folder and then I already see one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, let's switch back again. And um, yeah, no, you're absolutely right. I see here in um, OBS that I that uh, it's different. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that NDI is playing a trick on me today Because I you know I have this NDI scan converter and here I say what to capture and I captured the desktop so theoretically it should work, but um, Colenio full <laughs> See in the name now you don't see it. I'm sorry you don't see, it, but in the name there's written vel for velocity, so you can hear how we go through the various velocity layers. And, and that's a sound even that's a sound you know that needs to be those velocity layers in my opinion because that's a very um, expressive rhythmic sound and if you would have um, a string quartet or whatever in front of you and you would like them to s s um, play something like this Then it would be like this. It, it, it wouldn't be. And, and you hear the difference. It's not only softer and louder. No, it's a completely different sound. Because the strings, obviously, they, they bounce completely differently back on the 
tastiera. I don't know how how it's called in English. This 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 black bird where they where they hit on. I uh, know no, no Colenio, no, not even Colenio is is with the bow on the strings. Um, it's the um, Bartok pizzicato where you tear that hard that it bounces back on the board. Then Colenio soft. It's, it's similar, yeah, but it's a different different thing, the Colenio and. Uh, but I was a little bit confused from the sound because it reminded me really of a very very hard pizzicato. Then minor second grace notes. I have we had them before. We, we won't do it again, or will we? We will get stuck in that patch. We won't leave this one now. For the next hour, I will torture you with this. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I absolutely enjoy it. Then we have the pitching out of fall offs. Those are nice. Those are nice. They must be pretty hard to play, honestly. Because, man, how hard do you need to, to pluck the string? To, don't get it anyhow got back. Slapping. But then move the other finger. To bend the note. Nice. Even that's quite a comedy sound. Man for comedy. <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I do love those instruments. I do love those instruments. Compressed. It's the same sound. Compressed. Loses a little bit of its... I, personally, I prefer the other one. Then the last one in this short section is the ricochets. through the first folder of the authentic instruments which is the short um, yeah it might be a longer stream let's go to the authentic movements we do have the colenio tremolo quick 
cool. Because I can read here mod. This means the mod wheel is doing something and listen to it. Let's play it here. What a beautiful, beautiful reverb that, that, that comes in. this I need to record this I just had an idea that's <laughs> so cool That's the problem having only two hands you would like to play and in the same time and maybe one day I will have more pedals or something like this that I can put the mod wheel whilst I play after uh, otherwise you just do it whilst uh, you edit everything then let's try something with percussion um, obviously just give me a second here I don't want this uh, minus six Just, 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 just. Quick and dirty, really quick and dirty. Bear with me. Um, I, I will, I will. Afterwards, I will use it for something. This is just this is just a very quick very dirty idea wait for it when it's ready when i will make my video about um the the ghost cello you will find this um together with the other as a finished track with a percussion library as i said before which is really 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 discipline of this wow how they will be good together um sorry the piano because today i have only you know vocalis and an ascent here with me already in the the template to to combine Kevin, I don't know how I can thank you uh, for, for having me on board with this, that I can explore it. I'm in love with it. I'm so in love with it. So now I need to open a new a new track because I can't touch this because I need it as is. Oh, let's save this. Let's save this. Absolutely. This is this is becoming something pretty beautiful. Um, a little later maybe we'll play again through all the cues that we made already going through this stuff and this was only the first this was only the first of the patches within the first <laughs> folder which is authentic in the second round of movements um stop phrases i wrote 
record an entire album using solely piano and ghost cello. Yeah, you, you know precisely what I will listen to in the car tomorrow then, um, Kevin, because I can imagine I'm really getting into the mood. This one with the right piano and then some subtle percussion underneath and... Ah, okay, even this one, sorry, is a menu. That's it with those recorded phrases, then obviously you need to wait maybe until they are finished to get the most authentic result, but, but then it's just mind-blowing. Nice, 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 nice. Theoretically I can go from here, yes. Pedal tone. By the way, no, it's stuck. It's it's completely stuck. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that this um, NDI tools should we try to fix it? Maybe. Um, I mean, why not? Let's try, let's just try. I will try, I will try to stop it and then just to start it again. If we are really lucky, if we are really lucky, then... Then we will have the possibility to see what I'm doing. NDI. So, NDI, welcome, studio monitor. There it is. There it is. I can see it here. Yes, yes, we are back. We are back. We should be back. I can see it in OBS. Um, so. Nice. Even this one, even this one, I can absolutely imagine using this one and then maybe some kind of Celtic voice on top like like the era for example from Bella di Media comes right away to my mind wow i'm getting thirsty anyhow the bavarian bavarian needs bavarian coffee nice absolutely nice then double stop laments oh, come on
Might work, might work. Um, give me the time, give me really the time to figure this out, but it might work absolutely. Okay, uh, we continue. Man, there are still so many patches that we didn't, didn't get through. free version whomever is watching this video get the free version play with it for 15 minutes <laughs> and you will be addicted absolutely do you need a recipe to get this no because it, it, it gets you addicted there are those movements that we had before already minor upscale yeah you take two tracks in the one track you get the downscale in the next track you have to upscale and then you really create the melody lines that you want ba 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 ba, ba. Um, wonderful you know the call and the answer wonderful wonderful really well thought out Short minor motifs. <laughs> Even this one is a menu, so. Beautiful, beautiful. I start to accelerate a little bit because we are still in the authentic folder and the processed one is where you really find some gems, you really find something pretty unique. Sul Pont Tremolo Crescendo. That's nice. Kevin, I think we can launch a challenge to all the people out there. Program this with your cello library. And I will offer you a beer. If you come up with something like this. <laughs> Whatever cello library you have, I will offer you a Bavarian coffee. Tritone movements, I do love them. stuff 
devilish stuff, really. Wispy Soul Ponticello trills. <laughs> Even here, yes, there is written mod wheel. Whenever you find mod in the name, then use your mod wheel. I mean, I have the, the cork keyboard, so I don't have a mod wheel. I have a joystick, which most of the time the joystick is even cooler than a mod wheel. But I programmed the nano control to have, you know, one of those um, faders as my mod wheel. And even here you... can dial in a cool effect. Let's, let's put this on half. Yeah, this is stuff you need to program afterwards. I can't do it in, in, in real time, but just imagine the sound fading in. And then even here, maybe working with the stereo field like we did at the beginning, you really start narrow uh, in your face and then, then you open up as, as the, the sound opens up. There's a filter on this one, that's cool. Maybe I can do something with the paddle. I don't know, let's see. And then we do have the wood bowing. Even here is written mod wheel. Filters and expression, yeah. I mean, come on. That's a scene. Completely. There is a foggy forest. A car is dry. No, there is no car. You can see a barefoot human being walking through that foggy forest. other notes like maybe before this colenio tremor or something like this I saw that video and, and, and that's so important, that's so important and I said it when we did the stream um, for all you brewers, even they have lots of tutorials on their YouTube channel. Um, that's so helpful even for us to get into the mindset of the library, to get into the engine of the library, to really understand it because then you even can come up with pretty cool ideas that are not straight out of the box. Um, if you have the possibility, I mean, there are libraries, you have wonderful sounds, but that's it. You can't even mangle with them. Uh, there are players that don't allow it. But, you know, if you have contact and then you if have engines like this, then even do it. Really learn how to use them. I can't tell this often enough. Know your tools, know your libraries. If you would like to stand out a little bit sound wise. Um, we are leaving the movements we are going into the glissandi fast aggressive rips up this is a menu even <laughs> cool This one, this one, this one was the one I used. I'm sorry, I can't play you this scene now. Otherwise, I would play you this scene. And, and 
you would find it, you would recognize it with it, and it, it's so underlining this whole scene there. Wow. <laughs> wonderful stuff, wonderful stuff. I'm quite sure you will see me using this library often in the future. And if it's only one of those effects on one track, but you have it. <laughs> Beautiful. What we should do one day maybe is make a stream with a library like this where you really have those outstanding performances and phrases and stuff like this and Rebecca on her violin and then t telling her you know to reproduce it so you might even see how it's done and how difficult it is because I'm pretty sure you already hear how outstanding and different it is which by the way Austin Blau Austin Blau wrote a demo track for the ghost cello it's even on the YouTube channel of Triumph Audio and man what a track Man, what a track, really, wow. Um, like it a lot, and I learned a lot even but from analyzing it. Those are all different glissandi. Just to tell you, and I have the trigger keys to decide the note. Outstanding stuff. Um, yeah, it's it's one hour. It's one hour, and we are still in the authentic folder. So I think you get the idea. Um, this is two libraries in one because we are not even talking about the processed stuff yet. So low drone mod wheel effect. Let's see what this low drone is doing. Mod wheel is down. Low drone, low notes, I guess. do with this one put it on two tracks I would have the low notes on one track just like this really just like this the fundament is there on the second track I would do this and I would have as we had before the distortion and the screamer automated You see something like this. <laughs> cool, and then maybe, uh, oh man, there is so much to discover. There is so much to discover. This is so beautiful. Another low drone. And this bendy is so cool. This. Bendy is so cool. Yeah, oh, Kevin, we should do this more often. We should do this more often. This is this is fun, and this is um, instructive. I'm I'm learning whilst I play, and then having someone like you in the chat teaching. <laughs> That's priceless. This is badass. Can you say badass, or is it then? Yeah, I think so. You can. That's mind blowing. And 
play a little bit with the pitch band. That, that's that's haunting. That's really <laughs> oh wow. They are all cool. C come on, that's that's not fair. P put one in there. One, not five. I would like leave this completely on the low side. I wouldn't go with the higher notes on that patch. I would use a different patch for the higher notes then. Bah. So, slow light bands. Let's try something. Then maybe one of those melody phrases. And you can you can do this all with one library. And and you stay even in, in theme then with the cello, which is yeah, a very versatile instrument and personally I do like it a lot. And the last folder of the authentic the harmonics. Straight to tremolo. The next one is harmonic tremolo velocity mod wheel. It's a menu, I can see this. It's, it's yeah, there it is, the velocity. Sorry, <laughs> got on the wrong key. Nice this one, this one very soft on top, piano underneath. Oh, come on! And then those red keys are the effects, right? That are on. Um, I saw this. Exactly. F6, F, G6, A6, yeah. But that's. that's nuts. Come on, we are still in the authentic folder. We need to go to the processed one. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Light band stacks.
Sorry. Again, time. Then on top of this, some of the harmonics that we had before. How cool must that sound? My opinion, what do you have here? No, that's only minor. Okay, then we, we stick to the piano. We stick to the piano even for this quick thing here. Whenever a library does this to me, that after a stream I have something like 60 bars um, recorded with ideas, this means it's an inspiring instrument. Th this is how it should be. This is, you know, this is me, obviously, this is not everybody, but this is me, how it should be, you know, inspiring you, inspiring you. Sichern, I need to save this. And yes, we are leaving safe territory. We are leaving safe territory. We are leaving the authentic folder. We are going into the processed one. Maybe what we can do quickly, we quickly play through the things that we recorded during the stream so far. Just to give you an idea, um, if, if you know clicking through the stream, it's already one hour and 15 minutes long. Or if you're uh, joining only now, to give you an idea what you can do with Ghost Cello in various occasions. Those are only the authentic patches. We didn't touch the processed ones yet. This one you can hear the samples they are not completely cleared and polished by all those human noises that simply happen if someone plays a natural instrument and well done compliments
Yeah, and this one really is some harmonics on top and it will be <laughs> I like it. Okay, we open the processed folder. Let's do this, the drones. And I remember there are really some neat, neat drones. And look how many there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, should be something like 30 of them. Anticipation drone mod wheel effect. Let's do this. We should go with the lower notes with the drone. I will press the pedal. Yeah. I will make my video next week. No, probably next week. I won't be able timing wise, but the week after maybe. Because I know exactly what I will um, use with this one. That's so beautiful. Colenio drone. Colenio drone. Come on. You must be joking. No, you're not. That's cool. Listen how plucky this is. You can really play with this one. Try this one. Yeah. Reverse. This one must be time synced because I can 120 BPM. Yes, Dark Bender 85 BPM. Should we do it? Should we do it? Should we really push? Yes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I could be stuck in that folder for an hour. Let's go a little bit by by name Dark Lullaby Drone. <laughs> I 
I will play this to my daughter this night as a lullaby just to see if she will sleep in or if she will kick me out of the room. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Detuned straight drone, dive bomb drone. And then there comes the sub hit. Absolutely, imagine this in some kind of a trailer track. Absolutely. Um, minor second low drone, octave drone, C drone, slider drone, sul pond, bendy, soft, bendy, trem. Oh, yes. This is, this is what I said at the very beginning. This has nothing to do with those wonderful and even those funny and, and those amazing phrases and that stuff that you find in the authentic folder. This processed folder could be a library all by itself, completely, really, Ghost Cello 2, The Revenge. Doomsday drone. Let's listen to this one and then we head over to the pads. The last message that I see in the chat is from Andromeda. Really like the tone, how natural it sounds. I mean, would you say we are still in the same library? No, no way. This is amazing. This is really amazing. Now, as I said before, this, this track from um, Austin Blau used a lot of those um, processed files and um, this was even what got me hooked like wow you really can go a little you know the, the next step to... so we are in the fourth lament what will effects pad <laughs> Yeah, this is something that you shouldn't play a chord with. This would just just play one note. Play one note, and you have the fourth. That's that's so cool. singing on top ah ah should we should be yes we should i'm curious i'm so percussion which of course it would be so much easier just taking the, the loop designer from damage to pressing one key and then mayhem and chaos happen and the world goes down but let's do this manually today something like this Okay, 
quick and dirty, not even quantized, because I'm really just curious to see where this library can bring me and you. And as Andromeda is writing in the chat, yes, they really add a complete new side to this library, these processed files. They really dig like, what? Really? We are still in the same library? It's just, it's, it's, yeah, this is the one with the phrases. This one, why not? This one way more let's just correct what we did here okay there we go just curious really just curious that it comes precisely on the chord change this is why it doesn't work I didn't get back to the A okay so we need it before so curious what you can do with this you can soften the girl's cello with expression 11 to yes absolutely And, and another thing that I should do is maybe, but of, of course, so let's try this. Let's try. If Kevin suggested, it must be good. So let's do this. I put the. Yes. And yes. How much difference does this make? How much difference does this make? I, I really hope you can see it. I do have here now the curve for my expression. I do have here the curve of the modulation that I did now whilst I recorded again. As we said at the beginning, play those things and then maybe record all your MIDI data. Like now we could even work on the panning or on the stereo field or on other filters or on other effects. But how much better does it sound now? The cello opening up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Let's continue. Let's save this because it's getting better and better. We have been, yeah, only at the very first of those pads. Those are the libraries that really, really, really add so much to your palette, really so much, because there is so much to explore and so much to work with sonic-wise. Is it getting dark, by the way? It's getting dark, but uh, yeah, I mean, the important thing is not me. The important thing is the screen on Logic, which you can see. Colenio Ping Pong Pad. <laughs> Thank you. 
Tiki tacky, chicky 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 percussion on it. Cool. Coming up. Hello, coming up for air. Still in the ghost cello? No, me not. Coming back to the price, coming back to the price, which is really, really fair for something like this. That, that, that would be exactly the, the next thing to record. Sorry, sorry. Just recording, really just recording. It's, it's, it's a long time that this, this didn't happen. playing I was only playing I didn't even touch expression or mod wheel or whatever and ooh, just imagine you know this with some of those authentic things on top um, another thing that I'm realizing I have open by now 18 instances of the ghost cello and you may see it here on the CPU, it, it doesn't even really move. So it's not even heavy on your system. Even this once in a while should be taken into consideration with libraries because there are libraries that really, really are hungry on your CPU, on your RAM, on your... Um... <sighs> yeah, nice done. Well done, really. Hey, buddy, sorry for late. Wow, yeah, cool, <laughs> Stergios, my friend, nice to see you. Not having Uzo today, having Bavarian coffee in here, but Prost. Okay, we go to the next one. Ah, sorry, Dark Dawn Rising. But I think... I think this is one of those that you just should let them do their work. I will just press four keys. Then, and then go on top. I mean, you, you have over 100 of those patches. You will find something to go on top then and maybe even combine them. I'm, I, I will do this uh, for sure, combining those processed things with the authentic ones. Wonderful, really wonderful. The next pet is the repeats pet. <laughs> Thank you. 
Stergios, yes, yes, in the authentic folders, there have been very nice phrases, very nice intervals. Um, there are no sustain patches, there are no logato patches. So, um, you know, this is not the library which is meant to write classical tracks, I think. But on the other hand, for a composer like you, this would be a very cool um, challenge to come up with a classical piece to show that if you're really diving deep into it, you're able, yeah, um, mod wheel. There it is. I love this sound, even with this one. T take this one. And then the high piano on top. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Dawn rising. Altitude double pad. Yes, there's a soft piano, felt piano. Whatever. I don't know if you heard um, what we came up with during the stream twice, three times, four times, four times using the piano already. Um, here combining the cello with um, a vocal and a piano. These things really, they, they just have been played in whilst we noodle or even here with the piano. Really nice stuff. And um, my go to library at the moment really is the Ascent from heaviosity because apart from the really diverse sounds that you can come up with um, it gives you the possibility i have even a tutorial on it you know with the echoes and with this pretty cool convolution reverb that can be automated so Beautiful piano, beautiful piano, anyhow. Um, when you have tempo loaded, don't play really high. You get the weird sounds of the limitation of the These pads sound better with DFP. Okay, um, thanks, Kevin. Thanks for this info. Yes, you were nice to add some delay on the piano here. Absolutely. Delay on piano is always nice. A little bit of automated convolution reverb and then maybe having the echoes playing in uh, ascending octaves above so where have we been we have been on this pad the high altitude double pad then dark repeats pad dark right ri dawn rising <laughs> There's one that catched my eye, the minor second wipes. <laughs> I 
This is one of those sounds that if you hear it, you would right away tell, hey, it's a cello, but then your brain would start like, yes, it's a cello, but a cello doesn't sound like this. And wonderful sound. We should make an, a second stream, maybe one day, going only through the the processed ones, and then come up with some cues with the processed ones. Hey, Ricky! Nice to see you. Perfect fifth. Yeah, absolutely. That's a nice one, even. Need to record again. Need to record again. Yeah, yeah. Here, do we have something that we can use right away? Let's see, absolutely, obviously, not that strong. Even this one is growing nicely. You know, this is this is really just playing here raw live without any quantization without any it's just playing down ideas sorry mr. key that's the one I was looking for let's do this to copy this track quickly because I need to change the key to C here obviously otherwise it won't fit let's see
take some time take some time to elaborate this and it will come out pretty pretty neat we need to save again we are at 90 bars of recorded stuff today man and yeah there's still a lot a lot a lot of things so puffy clouds we started with that's so diverse even this one even this one low booms underneath a piano on top This is what a library should do, in my humble opinion. Really get you glued to your keyboard. Oh, another comedy sound. The ones that we had, we yeah, it's kicking back like Martin. Shut up. Sliding into fourth. We dial in the mod wheel. Soft fifth pad, soft ninth tremolo pad. <laughs> that that's the ghost part of this library, really. That's the ghost part. Soft fifth pad. It's getting really dark. Should we switch on some lights? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Yes, there we are. Nice. We get into the harmonics of the processed folder. Harmonics wild mod wheel effect. one which is the reverse looped how beautiful is this Beautiful is this. <laughs> 
Because the sound is defined to a point that you can recognize the chord. But anyhow, it leaves you in a doubt. I love this one. Very interesting stuff, really very interesting stuff if you are, I think, especially or into some albums like Kevin wrote before or if you're into film scoring, those effects, they are pure gold, really pure gold. This is not the, the one that you need for a pop song or for a rock song, just a, uh, a cello playing the fifth notes and, 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 and that stuff in a perfect legato style. No, this is way more. beautiful is this and we come to the last folder which is in the process the movements and even there I see already one two three four five six seven eight yeah around 25 crusher <laughs> Should we do it? I mean, he warned us. This one is called Crusher. the next one Delta landing This one now the low booms now the piano now the vocals and there you go Put down expression and mod wheel then let's place even here just some low booms underneath where are they in this case a voice we can 
take the other one, which was an A, wasn't it? Exactly. This one. Okay, the cello vanished because it remained an expression completely down. Beautiful, 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 beautiful again. We need to save this and I need to open a new track and we are at 100 bars of recorded music during this stream. Um, yeah, I might make a um, condensed version of this stream playing only all those ideas. That, 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 that really came to my mind whilst playing through the various patches. Again, big compliments because this library is as inspiring as it can get. Knocking on doors. Pretty, pretty nice. Lurk Doomer. As I said at the very, very beginning, that's the dark side of Ghost Cello. If you open those processed folders, then be prepared for something like this. But I hope I could show you how many. Interesting patches are in this library. It's over 100. And if you take the DFP and the TMP combined, then it's over 200. I will play the last one, which is taking the stairs. lot of sound design stuff going in here but just to get back to this track from the beginning there is even quite a You know, there's such a natural side to it, there's such a comical side to it. It's a wonderful, a wonderful library. Um, I hope, yeah, it's two hours. I think this is one of the longest streams I ever did, even this is a good sign um, how inspiring this beast is, because otherwise we wouldn't have recorded all of this if it, it wouldn't have been for the inspiration that really came to me. and. A big thanks again to Triumph Audio for handing out this NFR copy to me so I could um, try it out and make the stream. A big thanks to Kevin who was in the chat with us, who is maybe still in the chat with us. Gave me a lot of tips, explained a lot of things. Um, check out obviously their channel where they go through it, where um, Austin Blau has a wonderful demo track. And that's it from my side from today. I would say um, 
Have a wonderful weekend. As soon as I switch this off, I head over to this other thing that I that I was telling that that will be so hand in hand with Ghost Cello, and you will hear them both together very very soon. I will make a video even about Ghost Cello, just obviously in eight minutes, ten minutes, really really condensed. But today it was playing through, enjoying, and I really had a good time. I really enjoyed it. Make good music always. See you in the next video or the next live stream. And I think that's it really from my side from today. Can we switch back? Yes, we can switch back. It's still working. Thanks for everything. See you soon. Bye-bye. I will stop it now.